Welcome everybody to this top 10 best Hisekai anime ever. My name is Misty Slosh Connection. And oh yeah, I suppose I should explain what Hisekai is. It's a Japanese term for a story where a character goes into another world for the major part of the story. Back in 2016, I made a top 15 best other world anime. And well, since then there's been an avalanche of new anime about the topic, so I thought, hey, one, one year's long enough. Anyway, a couple of rules I want to cover before going in. Just like the previous top list, I'm not covering Game World. They don't count because the player is actually sitting in his living room. So all Sword Art Online, Overlord, Log Horizon, Dot Act, or whatever, they don't count. Rule number two, I don't want to cover any title from that previous list that I mentioned before. So overall, that should give you 25 total. If you're still hungry for more after that, you need an intervention. Or move on to manga. There's a crap ton of those lying around, but let's go. Number 10, and the owner of the thumbnail is Restaurant to Another World. Are you upset because Food Wars episodes only come out once a week? Ever heard of Restaurant to Another World? Well, if not, think about Food Wars, but in a fantasy setting. The anime is pretty passive, it's slow paced, and it's a story about how a tiny restaurant closes its doors for a special type of customers on Saturdays. The ambience is light, it's a kind of anime that just brings a smile to your face. Might not be as engaging as the other title and genre, but if food and fantasy is just your craving, you might find yourself with a surprising entry. I mean, it's, it's still number 10, but it made the list, so that must count for something. <laughs> <laughs> Number 9, Rook Creators. Rook Creators is a pretty interesting one on this list. While the isekai genre might be a, a stretch, this story begins with the main character Soda, who loves anime gets transported in one of the anime he watches. There he meets with the heroine of the series and they're transported back to Soda's world. Slowly, even more characters from other shows joins in this world and there's one girl in particular who seems to know more about it than the rest. It's a good mix of sci-fi and fantasy, but as far as isekai genre goes, it barely skims the surface. But then again, it meets the criteria, so I thought it was a nice worthy addition. Also, the action scene and the soundtracks are pretty dope. If anything, it's just a cool anime to watch. <laughs> Number 8, Fushigi Yugi. Fushigi Yugi is a story about two students who are transported into a book world fantasy of ancient China. There, the girl earns the job of becoming the priestess and she must find celestial warriors who are gonna allow her to summon a god who will grant her wishes. It's kind of like a Chinese Aladdin. <laughs> This anime is a bit on the older side, it came out in 95, it's a shoujo, so a lot of the aspect in the anime revolves around romance. That doesn't take away from the action, but if you want a purebred butt-kicking, you'll want to pass this one. It focuses a lot on characters' development. This show is very similar to Inuyasha or Akatsuki no Yona or The Twelve Kingdoms. If older shows don't turn you away, I'd say consider this one. <laughs> Number 7, Digimon Adventure. Remember this anime from the past, Digimon? It's a show I used to watch as a kid. Didn't think much of it back then, it was entertaining, and when Pokemon wasn't on, it was my scapegoat. Yeah, yeah, I was Team Pokemon. But now with a step back I can tell you it's a pretty solid anime. The story starts with 8 kids who get sucked up in a digital world. It, it's not gaming, it counts. In this new land, everyone has some kind of pet who can evolve and um, pr press B to cancel. Together they must join force and fight off evil monster who wish harm to the digital world. There's also a bunch of episodes, so if you're looking for a long adventure, I'd recommend this one. <laughs> Thank you. 
Number 6. Hi to Genso no Grimgar. Grimgar is a fascinating isekai title to me. The story begins with several individuals who wakes up in a dark tower. When they go outside, they realize they're in a brand new world called Grimgar. Similar to a JRPG, although it's not really a game, doesn't count, doesn't, doesn't count. The character must achieve quests, level up, and learn how to fight as if their life depended on it, which pretty much is. Eventually, a group of six persons team up together and they create a party, each one covering a different class and struggling to survive on the day-to-day -day basis. So wait, you're telling me this is Sword Art Online done right? Holy shit, why doesn't everyone talk about this show? It's good, is what I'm getting at. <laughs> Number 5. Devil is a part-timer. Alright, I'll admit this one's kind of a reverse isekai. Normally you have average normal Joe who goes into a fantasy world and bam bam adventure 90% of the time. Here, well, it's the opposite. You have the demon lord, Satan, who leaves his realm and end up in ye old regular earth. With a tiny shack apartment and a rent to pay. So how does Satan pay rent, you ask? Uh, by working at McDonald. Well, a parody of McDonald. And he's really good at it. All the while, his arch nemesis tried to slay him. Seems like a dull show, but it's incredibly good. I promise you, you will have a good time with Devil's a Part-Timer. There's comedy, action when it matters, but most importantly, characters you care about. It's a shame it didn't get a second season, because that's one show I would actively follow. Number 4, Drifters. Drifters is an anime I think a lot of people forget when it comes to the isekai genre. The premise is a mix of historical action fantasy and adventure. The story begins with Toyohisa, an historical samurai from the 1600s who originally died on the battlefield. But he finds himself waking up in a very futuristic place with lots of doors. After going through one, he ends up in another world along with other drifters, important historical figures. For example, Oda Nobunaga, a famous warlord from the Sengoku period. All of them must team up together and fight off against the giant force who opposed them. I think Drifters is an underdog and I guess it appeals to a very selective kind of audience, but hey, if that's you, you might end up enjoying it quite a lot. Number 3, Yojo Senki. Once again, here we have a slightly non traditional isekai. Normally, when you say isekai anime, you have mystical quests, dragons, angel to slay, and the likes. In this case, you have a crazy antagonist who ends up in the body of a little girl, and she is absolutely insane. She lands in this World War I look-alike world where... Uh, talk about interation. Where you can use magic and she's just batshit crazy. <laughs> Cra crazy with a K. Yeah, it emphasized the crazy that. Anyway, so this little girl handles infantry and try to win her side with sometimes meta that aren't quite traditional. <laughs> Burn the juice. I mean, no, yeah. She she burns people and some of them might be Jews and that's where I was going with that joke when it just crumbled in my hands. Uh, anyway, if you like military and magic staff you've, and you've seen Gate, this might be just a solid carryover you could tackle. Uh, I'm not walking out of this one.
ねえ早くしてどうせ何選んでも一緒よ引きこもりのゲームアタクに期待はしてないからおおおたんじゃないから Number two, Konosuba. I think Konosuba is the prime example of an anime who does isekai perfectly. It's vanilla, but it's not boring. The show begins with Kazuma, who dies and lands in a new world with a goddess. They have a mission to slay evil and they must create a party to do so. Only problem is the only people they manage to recruit are incompetent idiots of the highest caliber. Since there's some gaming element mixed in, like a quest system or a leveling up mechanic, you could think it's a game, but it's not. The comedy is highly accessible, going from goofy gags to over the top expressions to sometimes even highbrow humor. But the crew is lovable, and overall, it makes the whole adventure like hanging out with your best friends. I hope you'll like it. And finally, number one, ReZero. Probably the most obvious to figure on this list, ReZero came out in 2016, and if you were watching anime during that period, it's definitely a show you can't avoid. People scream about its overachieving success, and they basically consider it the second coming of Christ. It rekindled the going to another world trope, which was already pretty strong to begin with. So the story of ReZero, if you haven't seen it by now, for I've talked quite a lot about this gal, it's about Subaru, a guy who land in a brand new world, where every time he dies, he's brought back in time to several hours before the incident occurs. He gets another shot at changing fate. It took the community by storm, and if you've been pushing it back, and you really enjoy isekai anime, well, now's your time to dive in. What a wonderful note to end on. So again, assuming you've watched it in conjecture with my previous top 15 other worldly anime lists, you should now have 25 total to stuff your craving or turkey of Brand New World. Anything that caught your eyes? I hope so, because next week I'll be in Chicago for the convention Con Alt Delete, but I will however be back in time for a Christmas special. Yeah, you guys care about that, right? That's yeah, gonna be exciting, I'm sure. Unless you don't celebrate Christmas, or you're one of those people who insist on calling it Happy Holidays at the office and instead of Merry Christmas. I, I hope you know everyone hates you for this. Anyway, uh, I'll see you next time, because as they say in Japanese, uh, Misty Kuronexia is out of this bitchu desu. Times I've been on the wrong side, I've been ashamed So many memories, you know I'd like to change yeah.